You know, growing up in a small town has its pros and cons. I'm Tom, and I've lived here my entire life. It's peaceful, and everyone knows everyone. But it also means you can't escape some people, like my creepy brother Jake. Ever since we were kids, Jake's behavior has always been a bit off. I've tried to look out for him, but it's tough. And it's not just a general creepiness that's concerning. He's got this unsettling fixation on my crush, Emily. Emily's the kind of girl who lights up a room when she enters. And I've been head over heels for her since middle school. But Jake, he's constantly stalking her. And it's driving me insane. I just want her to have a normal life. And I wish I could do something about it. But what can I do? He's my brother, after all. One day, while looking for my headphones in Jake's room, I stumbled upon a camera. Curiosity got the best of me, and I couldn't help but take a look at the pictures. To my horror, the camera was filled with photos of Emily, all taken without her knowledge. My stomach churned, and I felt a mixture of anger and helplessness. I had to do something. I confronted Jake. What the hell is this, Jake? You've been stalking Emily and taking pictures of her. He just smirked. So what? You're just jealous because you've never had the guts to talk to her. Then, in a shocking twist, Jake and Emily started dating. I bumped into them at the park one day, and I couldn't believe what was happening. Emily, are you dating my brother? She hesitated for a moment. Yes, Tom. We're seeing each other now. I couldn't hide my concern, but... Do you know about his obsession with you? She looked confused. What are you talking about? The tension between Jake and me skyrocketed. We barely spoke, and when we did, it was like walking on eggshells. I felt betrayed by my own brother, but at the same time, I was scared for Emily. The situation was a ticking time bomb, and I didn't know when it would explode or how to stop it. My relationship with my parents has always been strained. They never hid the fact that they favored Jake over me. I tried my best to brush it off, but it was hard not to feel hurt by their constant preferential treatment. Things took an unexpected turn when my grandfather passed away, leaving me his entire estate. The rest of the family was left out of the will, causing shock and resentment to boil over. I couldn't believe it. For once in my life, I was the one receiving the windfall, and my family couldn't handle it. My mom confronted me. So, you're the lucky one now, huh, Tom? Must be nice. I tried to keep my cool. Mom, it's not like I asked for this. It's what Grandpa wanted. Dad scoffed. Well, now that you're so rich, maybe you should start taking care of us instead of the other way around. My parents, blinded by jealousy and bitterness, decided to take revenge on me in the most heartless way possible. They abandoned my beloved dog, Max. I couldn't believe they could be so cruel. I searched for Max, calling his name and combing through the neighborhood, but he was nowhere to be found. In tears, I confronted them. How could you do that to Max? He's innocent! My mom just glared at me. You have your precious inheritance now. You don't need a dog to keep you company. As my family became increasingly hostile, I felt more isolated than ever. They constantly made snide remarks about my newfound wealth and how I should be taking care of them. One day, at dinner, my dad smirked and said, So, Tom, when are you going to start treating us to some fancy dinners with your inheritance? I sighed, trying to keep my composure. Dad, it's not like I asked for this. Grandpa left me the estate, and I'm just trying to navigate this new situation. My mom chimed in, rolling her eyes. Oh, poor Tom, burdened with all that money. Must be so difficult for you. I couldn't help but retort. Well, it's not like you two are making it any easier for me. Jake snickered. Come on, bro. Share the wealth. I need a new car. I remember the day I finally decided to visit the inherited house. I had heard rumors that it was haunted, which honestly didn't bother me much. If anything, it just made me more curious. Upon arriving, I hesitantly pushed open the front door and started exploring the old, dusty rooms. To my surprise, I stumbled upon a group of homeless girls and a young child huddled together in one of the rooms. They looked frightened and desperate, so I decided to lend a hand. Hey, I'm Tom. I just inherited this place, and it seems like you guys could use some help. One of the girls, with a cautious smile, replied, Hi, Tom. I'm Sarah, and these are my friends Lily, Mia, and our little buddy, Charlie. We've been hiding out here for a while, and we didn't mean to intrude. I reassured them. Don't worry about it. Let's figure out how to make this place more comfortable for all of us. Over the next few weeks, I helped them out with food, clothes, and other necessities. In return, they shared their stories and skills, and we all started to bond. The girls and little Charlie really looked up to me, and I couldn't help but feel a sense of responsibility and pride for being able to make a positive impact on their lives. So there I was, trying to adjust to my new life. 
taking care of the girls and the child in the inherited house. When I got wind of some news that shook me, Jake had cheated on Emily, causing their relationship to end abruptly. I couldn't help but feel relieved that Emily was finally free from him, but I also knew that it must have been a painful experience for her. One evening, after spending the day helping the girls and the child, I decided to attend a party to take my mind off things. That's when I saw Emily across the room, looking absolutely stunning. We locked eyes for a moment, and I could tell that she had something on her mind. She confidently walked over to me, and without any warning, she leaned in and kissed me right on the lips. As if on cue, camera flashes went off, and people gasped in surprise. Emily had made sure that our kiss was captured on social media for the whole world to see, including Jake. She pulled away, gave me a knowing smile, and whispered in my ear, Let's see how he likes that. After the party incident, I thought things would start to settle down, but I couldn't have been more wrong. One day, I received a frantic call from my mom. Apparently, she and my dad had gone to Vegas and opened up 10 credit card accounts using my name and credit score. They had gambled away everything, losing more than 100000 in the process. Tom, honey, we might have messed up a little. My mom said sheepishly over the phone. Your dad thought he had a winning system, but it turns out he's better at losing money than finding gold in a haystack. To make matters worse, the stress of their financial disaster had taken a toll on their marriage. They were constantly arguing and had finally decided to call it quits. That's when they came to me with a ridiculous request. Tom, since you're so well off now, we need you to pay for our divorce. My dad demanded, as if I owed them something after everything they had done. I was absolutely stunned by their audacity. Instead of apologizing for using my identity and ruining my credit score, they were asking me to fix their mess. You've got to be kidding me, I replied, my voice shaking with anger. You two created this problem, and now you expect me to clean it up? No way! You need to figure this out on your own! My dad huffed and puffed, trying to guilt me into helping them. Well, Tom, it's not like we raised you and put food on the table all these years for nothing. After the debate with my parents, I knew I needed a fresh start. I had to escape the endless family drama and the ticking time bomb that was my brother Jake. I mean, the viral video of Emily and me smooching was bound to make him go nuclear. So, I set out to find a new place to call home. I ended up in a rundown apartment building, the kind that screams, haunted, but offers surprisingly cheap rent. I thought it was perfect. My family would never find me here, and would never set foot in a place like this. My new bathroom came with a little surprise, a small hole in the wall. Character, I told myself, until one night when I heard snapping fingers from the other side. With bated breath, I peeked through the hole, only to see a gorgeous girl's bedroom. Lily, as I'd soon learn, was her name. As I spied on her, she caught me red-handed. Instead of freaking out, she laughed and called out, Hey, neighbor, you must be new here. How about you come over and introduce yourself face to face, you peeping Tom? Embarrassed but intrigued, I knocked on her door, and she welcomed me with a smirk. We headed off immediately, trading jokes and stories. She was witty, charming, and totally disarming. Meanwhile, Jake's reaction to the video was apocalyptic, as I had anticipated. Friends filled me in on his fury, claiming he was out for blood. Mine and Emily's, but tucked away in my little hideout, I felt safe from his vengeance, at least for now. As I got to know Lily better, I discovered she was not just another pretty face. She was kind, adventurous, and had a wicked sense of humor. We quickly became inseparable, and our days were filled with laughter, inside jokes, and shared adventures. One evening, while we were lounging in her room, I heard that familiar snapping sound again. I playfully accused her of trying to summon me through the bathroom hole. She laughed and replied, Well, it worked the first time, didn't it? As our relationship grew, I realized I couldn't keep my financial status a secret any longer. With a deep breath, I told her the truth about my inheritance. Surprisingly, she wasn't phased. So, you're a secret millionaire? That's cool, but I fell in love with the guy next door. Not his bank account, she said with a wink. I knew then that I had found my perfect match. We decided to move in together and start our new life, away from the drama of my family and the chaos of the past. Life with Lily was never dull. Whether we were having impromptu dance parties or attempting to recreate bizarre recipes we found online, we were a team, partners in crime, and living proof that sometimes the best love stories start with a little hole in the wall. And so, we embarked on our journey towards our very own happily ever after.